All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is an amazing gun. We're going to uh, unbox and review the AR-10 from Sig Sawyer. The AR-10 isn't a regular AR. It's bigger and more advanced than an AR-15. So I'm going to show you all a couple of differences real quick before I get to unboxing and reviewing this gun. This is for people that don't know a lot about ARs and stuff like that. So you see this big boy. Now, y'all see it's a little different from the original. This my oh, this is my father's gun. He had a lot of modifications to the gun. But in, later in the video, I'm going to show you all the specs and modifications. I'm going to talk about what, how the gun was made. This is what it originally looked like. Now, show them the difference, man. You see it. Ooh, that boy got a pimping. All right. And this is all the other stuff that come when you buy the guns. Just a lot of manuals and stuff like that. So, as y'all can see, look at the size. Of, these are three. This, this AR-10 is chambered in 308. You can get an AR-10 changed in 6.8 SPC, 7.62 NATO. But this one is in 308. That is a big round. Now, I'm going to show y'all the comparison to AR-15, a 5.56 round. See, this is the average AR that most people show around, ride around their cars, go hunting with, or with the military. The military uses 5.56s, okay, like standard stock. Now, look at the differences in those bullets. I'll show y'all both sides. These are two different mags that go to this gun. See, this goes to a regular AR-15. This is an AR-10. AR-15 carries smaller rounds. They can, they also carry 223. And this is what we got for the 308. But as y'all can see, this is a big gun, man. It's heavy. Uh, AR-15 won't be as heavy as this gun. As y'all can see, it's wide. It's sturdy. The materials also add to the weight. And this gun is mainly used for shooting larger distances, bigger game, bigger rounds has more knockdown and piercing power. So let's start off with uh, the materials that created this gun. Created by Sig Sawyer. It, the SKU on it is a R716. The barrel length on this gun is 16 inches or 406 millimeters. The mag includes a 20 round mag. The action type is semi-auto. The stock type is telescopic. But this isn't the original stock on the gun. This is the add-on that my dad got. The barrel material is carbon steel. It's good material. The trigger type is a single stage polish and it's hard coated. Uh, the uh, twist rate is one tenth. The, fo the foreign type is alloy. Grip type is polymer. But the original, this is a uh, added on that my dad, and I'm gonna discuss this later in the video about all the add-ons my dad added to the original gun. The uh, the receiver finish is hard coat, hard coat anodized. Overall length, 37 inches. That's including the whole gun with the stock pulled back and everything is 37 inches. The overall width of the gun is 2.5 inches. The height is eight inches. So gun include when it's up is eight inches from top to bottom. The overall, the overall thre the threads on the gun are five eighth inch. The accessory reel MLDK and the operating system is a direct direct impingement and the weight of the gun is around 8.5 pounds. It's a pretty heavy gun, so if you know you're carrying it around, if you got to use it in a real life scenario, it's when I would be the first option. I'd get a, a smaller AR, but it's it's pretty good size. Now we're gonna talk about the additions on the gun. Now y'all see this is a drastically different gun. So we're gonna start off with the stock of the gun. The stock is a Magpul stock, a Sig Magpul stock. All the all the materials are meant to go with this Sig AR-10. So, but my dad got this for improve. To all these additions were to improve the gun from with the the standard. So you see the stock right here. It didn't have this rubber piece in the back of the gun. My dad said he got more control and stability with using this stock, and it's more it's easier. It looks better, and it makes the gun you know look better. Now we're gonna go to the grip, which is a Magpul. It has a, the back wells for better control and grip when shooting the gun. And also has the finger grips compared to the old one that didn't have the finger grips on it. So this one allows for better grip and control. Now we're going to move to the scope of the gun. As you can see, it didn't come with a scope. And my dad added a scope. It is a SIG Buckmaster scope, 3 by 9 by 40 He did this for if like he needs to go hunting or if he wants to shoot. He has a 5.56 AR. He has multiple ARs, but he wanted a, long, a more powerful long-range AR, so he got a long-range scope. You could get a smaller scope, but it wouldn't be as effective for long-range. So he got this Buckmaster scope. It can shoot about, uh, how, many, how many yards do you think? Shoot up 600. About 600 yards. So it's a pretty good long-range scope. Now we're going to move on to the... The forward grip, it is also a Magpul forward grip. He also got this to improve the gun 
So like if he's standing up and not uh, uh, crouched in the cross position hunting, or if he has to move for, for a quick location, he can grab right here or move forward and shoot shoot the gun. So, he, and he got this bot pod for if he's hunting or if he wants to rest and sh have a better control and stability when shooting the gun. So you can activate this, you know, put them all on, put them both down if set them up, set them up on a stand, you go hunting or anything, set it up. So that's why we got this for more control and stability. Okay, and this is the bipod. Then the final addition that he added to the gun is his brake, which helps with controlling the gas pressure and the recoil when sh shooting the gun. And then also, I forgot to tell y'all, he got this foregrip so he doesn't have to hold the barrel because when you're shooting the gun, it gets really hot and you can burn your hand after a repeated use of shooting the firearm. So this also helps with controlling the heat from the gun. But yeah, man, the, all these all these attachments and add-ons to the gun really improves the this ability and performance of the gun. And he also, this was the stock, this was a stock uh, magazine that he got with the gun. And he also got more just in case so he can reload and not have to worry about re, re, uh, refilling the uh, ammunition when he's hunt, hunting or shooting it for target practice. I'm gonna give y'all up close and personal view of the gun. This is a fully ambidextrous gun. That means if you're right or left-handed, it's, it's personalized for that you can use it either way efficiently. So this is the stock. It has four different stop stopping points to adjustable for your height when shooting the gun. This is the first stop. You tap that, tap that, move that back. Second stop, tap that, move that back. Third stop, last stop. And that's adjustable for your height and your arm length, whichever more is comfortable and you can shoot accurately, accurately with. So this is the forward assist. So if like you got to push your 308 or whatever in the mag, whatever ammo you have with your mag and it gets stuck or if you need to move it up a little bit, press that baby up and now it's ready to rock and roll. This is the grip and this is the safety of the gun. You see, this is where the bullet, it shows you the bullet. It then has the X to the bullet. Right now, it's just off safety, it's ready to fire. Okay, and now we're gonna, show, this is the the ammo, the firing chamber of the gun. I'm gonna pull up the, the charge so y'all can see what it looks like. That's the firing chamber of the gun. Looks pretty good. Woo, I know y'all like that sound. I'm gonna pull the trigger. This, we practice safety over here. Okay, this triggers off. So now I'm gonna show y'all the fully ambidextrous of the gun. So this is a thumb stop. So I'm right-handed, so this is kind of awkward for me to use, but I'll show y'all. This is a thumb stop if you're this way, and then you can also use it this way, like that. So it's fully ambidextrous. There's also a safety on this side of the gun. See, it's off safety, it's ready to shoot, and then on safety. And there's also a mag ejector on both sides. Press it right there or you can press right there. Then as y'all can see the scope, check that thing out, man. What y'all think up and close? Y'all see that big SIG, multi-caliber. And then this is also where you can, if you're hunting and you don't feel like holding, you see what I'm doing now holding the gun, you can mount a strap and you can strap it to your back or your side while you're traveling through the woods or if you're hunting, whatever you're doing, or you're at the fire range, you don't feel like, if you got multiple guns, you can carry one and then have this on your strap. But you, you know, at the fire, fire range, you're usually gonna have it in case if you're not, you're not just gonna be walking around with your gun. But that's what that's for. Close this bad boy back up. What y'all think, man? All right, man, this is this, a Sig Sawyer amazing product. They make, they, all they make is amazing gun. This is a Sig, 7, Sig 716 Tread, man. Look, it even comes with a mag wheel. Not too many gums comes with that. That's so like when you're easily inserting a stock, you don't hit beer and you just bam. So man, I'm gonna tell y'all about some personal experiences I've had with this gun shooting at the shooting range with my dad. Last time we used it, we used the bipod at the range. We mounted it up. And when I tell you, it's like shooting, you hear thunder and lightning when you're shooting this gun. This is one of the strongest ARs I've ever shot. And I have my own personal AR, AR-15. This, this is AR-10, but I have my own personal AR-15 and the power difference is amazing, man, when I shot it. So I love it, man. And predictions, the thumb stop. We don't really use the thumb stop because the heat of the gun is powerful and you know, but y'all look at that, man. That is one crazy of a gun. Sig Sawyer did the thing when they made this. The price range is, oof. Y'all even wanna talk, look it up. If if, if y'all wanna know about this gun, go get you one. Y'all go get you one. But dude, hey, you can use the tax money or you can save a couple checks cause you gonna need to, to buy this gun. This is a $2,500 gun. This is not a $500 AR. This is not a $600 AR. This is not a $1,000 AR. This is a, easily upwards of two grams, man. So hey man, if y'all want an amazing toy, and y'all, hey, this this is like looking at a car, a muscle car, a, a big truck, man. Y'all gonna want this in y'all collection. So, hey, stay tuned for more reactions and reviews of some amazing guns. 
Like, comment, and subscribe, and thank y'all for watching.